Item number SCP-139 Containment Class Epoch Security Level 4 Disruption Class Dark Special Containment Procedures Containment Suspended Description SCP-139 designate the disappearance of Lucian Sachs, formerly a Foundation Employed Security Specialist. Sachs had, until SCP-139's occurrence, acted as a consultant for Site-97 on a matter of esoteric reanimation methodology. SCP-139 is considered anomalous both due to a persisted info hazard encountered following its occurrence. See the constructed kind line below. And due to the cutoff of information pertaining to SCP-139 after April 4th, 1978, despite Site-97's best efforts, neither Sachs's past or present whereabouts nor the location of a cadaver have been uncovered. Extra-dimensional travel is suspected, but not confirmed. No primary suspects, which could be responsible for SCP-139, have been identified, owing to the largely inconclusive results of investigative efforts. As such, SCP-139 is currently considered a cold case, as determined by the Site-97 Forensics Board, and is expected to continue indefinitely. Timeline of events. March 5th, 1978. Sachs clocks in at Site 97 and declines usual chatter with personnel at the front entrance. Z enters her office and does not exit for the remainder of the workday. For a period of 12 hours, Zax curries 42 skip net entries pertaining to thaumaturgic workings, global ley line activity, and a variable research into way and knock techniques. This idle activity contradicts her otherwise exemplary productivity record and raises concern among Site 97 staff, since her agents are dispatched appropriately. No further abnormalities occur until Sachs had punched out and arrived at her residence in suburban Albany. By 10.45 p.m., Z vacates her residence, presumably on foot to avoid detection, and exits the city limits. March 6. A paper trail of bus and train tickets suggests Z traveled approximately 2,000 kilometers to Topeka, Kansas, arriving at 12.15 p.m. Of note, Interviewed civilians occasionally describe Sachs as that damn traitor when recounting this 18-hour period. Despite this, no sensitive data leakage pertaining to her employment at Site-97 was discovered. March 7th to April 4th. After Topeka, the paper trail terminates, and reports of Sachs' location during the following month become increasingly irregular. A car Z is believed to have rented is sighted in Salt Lake City, Utah and Laplock, Texas on March 10th and March 15th, respectively. Although the windshield and rightmost tail light shattered between the two cities, Z is last documented in Tucson, Arizona after residential police implicate her in the resist and flee incident on suspicions of vagrancy. This police report was filed on April 3rd at 3.48 a.m. and is considered the last documented sighting of Lucian Sachs by the public. On April 4th, sensor agents embedded within the Tucson USPS removed the following letter from the mail pool. To ones I'm running from, I hate you. I hate what you've done, and what you're doing to me, and what I think you did to the others who ran. I hate how I find lenses in the eyes of paintings and strange fingerprints in my belongings. I'm curious by trade, but you've really got me beat. I'm not the first to run, but I might be the first to break free. I'm going someplace without cameras or fingerprints, someplace you can't follow. 
It was fun while it lasted, but you lost this one. And soon I'll be back, and you're going to lose more. The hand's always been welcoming to people like me, anyways. Addendum 139-1 SCP-139 officially concluded on April 27th, 1993, when a minor structural failure revealed a small air pocket within Site-97's concrete foundation. Although this led to a temporary lockdown due to the destruction of Site-97's courtyard, integrity was eventually restored. Models of the air pocket prior to the structural failure indicate it resembled a prostrate human body fitting Yushin Sachs's height and build. After the initial excavation, the far when personal effects were discovered, the necrotic flesh of a heavily decayed human cadaver and several human bones, most popularized by the aforementioned structural failure. A foundation keycard for a Site-97 security specialist, ID number scratched out suggesting deep shame. A forbidden thaumaturgic ritual to preserve its use of spirit after their death. A map of ley line positionings and a contiguous United States are often referenced by enemies of the Foundation. A circle had been drawn around a nexus on the U.S.-Mexico border near, near Tucson, Arizona. Sachs's cause of death is believed to be terminal dehydration following several days of entombment. During the investigation of this air pocket, Site-97 excavators punctured a secretary cutout hidden within the concrete. Due to the considerable strain that excavation would put on Site 97's foundation, this cutout has not been analyzed extensively. What can be determined, however, is that it contains a large number of partially decomposed human eyes, believed to exceed 1,000 in total. Preparations within the concrete would have allowed these eyes to observe their target on all sides until. Z expired. Archive Containment Procedures SCP-139 Omega is presently being tracked, observed, and hounded by Site-97 Deep Cover personnel via unanimous 05 foot. A Tucson Ley Line bridge has been rerouted to Site 97's foundation for the interim. Update. Radio containment effectuated. Protocol All Eyes on Loose should be sent. Project Loose Ends in Progress. Site 97's full capabilities have been directed towards the neutralization of SCP 139 Omega, who remains at large post mortem via knowledge it has stolen from Site 97. Forming a breach of its containment area beneath Site 97. SCP 139 Omega has demonstrated robust mobility and corporeality, rendering it difficult to track and recontain. Fortunately, it has a habit of sticking its nose in places it does not belong. Lockout Failure Ethics Committee Review of SCP-139 Omega's containment procedures have generated unanimous approval. Overwatch Command is in agreement. SCP Omega's crimes are many and unforgivable. Site-97 took SCP-139 Omega in. They provided it with safety, community, and purpose, and it has shunned all of those. This is why, on the other side of that way, it found nothing but concrete damnation and the all-seeing eye. Knockout failure. Death will not bring you a peaceful end, as you may have hoped. Not when your hunters have torn and veil for fifteen years without your meddling and come away with weapons to kill only you were a bleeding edge on the facility first and foremost and were never taken kindly to traitors.
We see you, Lucian.